What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, YL from the 317. You already know how we rocking, man. Checking in with the Beacon Gang one more time. Today has been a really, really interesting day, but we're going to pop it off with some positive news, right? So, for those who don't know, Dogecoin was listed on Coinbase this past week. This, this past week or this week? Whenever it was. But it was recently listed on Coinbase, right? And we saw a spike up until the release, and then we saw... Um, a pullback and now we see consolidation. Now, what does that mean? This means that right now at around 33 cents, majority of holders agree on that price. What have we seen in the past? We've seen in the past when Dogecoin consolidates for a decent amount of time, it just takes some type of news, right? Some type, something, a tweet to make that run happen. And when them runs happened in the past, they were massive runs. Imagine how big they will be now when Coinbase, one of the largest crypto uh, platforms out there, now has Dogecoin for their users. I do think we might see one of the biggest spikes that we have seen um, when it comes to Dogecoin, whenever that happens. Don't know when, but when it does, I do believe it will be a massive one. Um, another thing that I want to talk about with Dogecoin and remind people really about Dogecoin is that we are heading down a slippery slope when it comes to the American economy. All right. Now, part of that has to do with the American, uh, the Federal Reserve pressing the print button one too many times. Right. And every, every, every issue that we have, we just, okay, no worries. We'll just press the button. We'll just press the button. And now we have seen inflation numbers that we have not seen in a while, that we have not seen before, right? Inflation numbers are high now. Why is that? Again. So what is Dogecoin? A Dogecoin and other cryptocurrencies are a hedge against inflation. This is important to kind of know where we're headed. Now, I do believe that our inflation will only get worse. And, and the reason why I feel that way is because when we look at AMC stock, we look at GameStop stocks, right? We look at some of these meme stocks that are trying to promote a squeeze all at the same time, even though they're not going to happen at the same time, but they're trying to, each community is trying to promote their squeeze, right? And we're looking at numbers and we're looking at data and we're looking at this, that, and the third, and we are missing we're missing the psychological evidence, right? Many of people have said when game when GameStop is about to squeeze, when AMC is about to squeeze, it will get ugly as far as the price, as far as the news, as far as any any type of tricks and giggling and, and, and any type of tricks you can think of was going to be used. Any kind of tactics we can think of were going to be used. And we are now seeing that happen. With the overwhelmingly evidence towards naked shorts, which is 100% illegal. With the overwhelmingly uh, uh, evidence that the share price that we see is not representative of the real true share price that it should be. And you will be a fool to think that all these things that people are talking about is just conspiracies. Even though that's what the Yahoo headlines say. Even though that's what CNN says, right? They call this conspiracies, right? And they tend to do that. Because when you throw that word conspiracy on it, it's like, ah, no wonder why they think the government would do something like that. They're conspiracy theorists. Ah, no wonder that story sounds so fucking wild, like out of whack. Because they're conspiracy theorists, right? They keep throwing that word at you guys to negate what's really going on. Just like they do with... Black athletes and, and black artists, right? Kanye West. How how many how many crazies are we gonna call this man, right? How many crazies can Kanye? If if Kanye is crazy, then please give me the jacket now. I want the jacket. I want to be crazy too. I want to be crazy too. You feel what I'm saying? So let's not lose sight of the same type of games that they play, the same type of words that they play. The media always wants to call an unarmed black man a what? A thug to justify the killing. Right now, 
These meme stops are getting labeled as thugs. I hope that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. So we're sitting here panic selling over a fabricated number. And when that number comes out to the true number, people who sold are going to be suicidal, suicidal. GameStop is over. Looking ass. That's what you're going to be thinking. That's what you're going to be thinking. Because you're going to be ready to pull that trigger once you didn't sold for $40 when the true price is in the thousands. But we, we're not going to get that number reflected to us until the squeeze happens. The squeeze hasn't happened yet. Be patient. All right? Those people who sold AMC um, at 40 to buy Clove at 28, I made fun of y'all this morning. But understand, y'all were a victim of their plan. Take you away from AMC. Put you somewhere else. Take your money. So now, if you try to jump back over AMC, you got less than what you came with. Fucking genius-ass plan. And it worked. For a lot of people, they got y'all. They got y'all out of AMC. They hyped y'all into uh, uh, to clove. And then they pulled that rug from up under you. So now, you're saying, fuck meme stops all together. Or fuck meme, meme stocks all together. That's what you're saying. Because you jumped from one shit to the other and got fucked over. And now you're telling yourself, I'm done. I quit. This is bullshit. And you're leaving with them losses. And these hedges is like, <laughs> not only did we get your shares... We got your money too. I thank you. Don't get played, man. Do not get played. Because that's what they're doing. They are playing with us. They are playing with us. With our emotions, with our heart. And that's why we can't... When you jumped into the squeeze, you should have had a plan. Right? When you jump into anything, when it comes to stocks and investing, you need to have a plan. Your plan shouldn't be to jump in because Joe Schmo said so. Because Joe Schmo been in the game. This is the fourth quarter now, and he's telling you to come in. You ain't read no scatter report. You don't know who, who the shooters, who the, you don't know nothing. And they put you in on the fourth quarter. Now you got to learn on the fly. That's on you. That's on you. You had no plan going in, so now you don't know how to get out. Don't believe the hype. Find your position, hunker down, and let it ride, man. People always say, teach me how to trade. First, you have to teach yourself how to be patient. First, you have to teach yourself how to be disciplined. Once you can do that, you can trade. All right? Once you can do those things, you can trade. Now, yes, you need to do some research. How do we do that? People say they don't know how to trade, but I bet you, if I told you your boyfriend or your girlfriend was so many kilometers east and so many kilometers west, if I just gave you the coordinates, you would figure out how to get there. Yes or no? All right? I know some of y'all women out there are detectives. Your dude can be in a whole nother state and accidentally leave his motherfucking Snapchat location on, and y'all will figure out how to pinpoint his exact location after he didn't move. You know why? Because the dumbass still snapping shit. So now that you're in the general location, you're going to Google, oh, he just snapped. I see Maxie's bar. Where's Maxie's bar? Boom. And you pull up on that nigga. Don't act like you don't know how to use technology. Don't act like you can't read. Don't act like you, you just being lazy. So when people tell me to teach them something, you got to ask yourself, do you really want it first? Because if you really want it, you will be on this channel watching the videos. You will be liking and subscribing. You will be engaging with me here because I give people exactly what they want. All I ask is for you to let me know what you want and I got you. You want me to analyze something? Put it in the comments and I got you. I didn't bring up no computers, no none of that right now because I wanted to talk to you. I wanted to talk to my subscribers. I wanted to talk to my audience. You feel me? I wanted y'all to, I wanted to be transparent. I wanted to be I almost have a conversation, if you will. Even though you're not responding, you feel me? But I wanted to talk to y'all, man. Ten minutes, I'm going to keep it, you know, around ten minutes. Recap. Dogecoin. Still that coin. AMC. Still that stock. Squeeze ain't happened yet. Be patient. Understand what's going on. They are not playing fair. 
you thought Tom Brady was a cheater? This is the person who taught Tom Brady that we're going against. All right? So we ain't going against no amateurs. All right? Um, Clove. 14, 14 and some change was the low. Um, I said my buy-in was around 15. And I did buy around 15. I bought some more around 14. Because it went lower. I said, hey, if it goes lower, below, below 15, Merry Christmas. And it did that. It did that. Um, hold your positions, man. Hold your positions. If you in any type of squeeze, hold your position. Your squeeze may not be as big as this squeeze, but hold your position because you want to reap the benefits of those gains. You've been in it for that long. You might as well see it to the finish, man. That's it for me, man. It's your boy, Wyo from the 317. We out.